Alright, what is up guys? It is your boy The Fragrance Mentor and I am back at you with another video. So, it's been a while since I posted, but I had to make sure that the next video I posted, I wanted to do a new a new fragrance and one of the newer ones to hit the market. So, the new Jean Paul Gaultier Le Mal Elixir, one of the newest fragrances to hit the market and honestly one of the more tougher fragrances to find. You know, it just kind of started hitting retailers here in the States when it first came out. It was very hard to get in the U.S., let alone worldwide. And then slowly it started finding its way to discounters, started finding its way to eBay, and then a few you know, uh, retailers would have it worldwide. But now it's fully out here, and I was finally able to check Macy's and get my hands on it. So uh, one thing about me is that I really love the brand of John Paul Gaultier fragrances. Um, I have now two bottles of Le Mal Le Parfum I've gone through two. And then, unfortunately, a few months back, I actually broke my 6.8 ounce bottle of uh, Ultra Mel, and I was very hurt by that. Fell out of my uh, backpack, and I was a little too scorned to get it and get a replacement, but I finally did when I went out to Macy's, so I got a backup of Ultra Mel because it's just so good. Um, but now, also, on this trip, I got the new Ultra the Mall Elixir, and I got the test strip ready, so we're going to do our first impressions. So just a note breakdown before we get into it, actually, um, pretty simple note breakdown according to Fragrantica, lavender, mint, vanilla, benzoin, and then with this particular flanker, we're going to have some honey, some taco meat, and some tobacco. We're going to see if that really alters the DNA and see if it can enhance it any. You know, one thing, since it's been out, people who have had it have really loved it. So I really hope that this one is worth the hype. Oh, that's a sexy bottle right there too. Look at this. Nice bottle, nice gold. They didn't pull their punch. And then even the magnet is a little bit bigger. It's a little bigger ring to it. All right, here we go. Definitely, you can smell that honey. You can smell that tobacco in there, especially this one gets to its dry down really quickly. You know, it doesn't really spend too much time with its opening. It's not going to be too pronounced the lavender and the mint. That honey tobacco combination is actually very good. But overall, I mean, this is this is definitely a dub though. This is this is great. I'm glad I got my hands on it. Um, definitely, if you like Ultra Mill, if you like Le Mal Parfum. And you and you like honey, you like tobacco, you want a different flanker. To me, this one is definitely day night. You know, I would say now, you use Ultra Mel for the club. Use Le Mal Le, Le Parfum for like, I would use Le Mal Le Parfum for like dinner or like any type of outing. But you want to go out, out at night with that one. And then this one is your Netflix and chill. Like I'm staying inside and we're watching movies with you know your partner. I I'd say you can take this out on a date, but this one is is going to be much more on the aromatic side. But I mean this is still this is still gas. It's still fire. Definitely I can see why the hype is there. I mean yeah yeah yep. This one's stamp. This one's approved. Fragrance mentor stamp of approval right there. Get your hands on it. You won't be disappointed. Especially if you can get this on a discount once it starts to hit there. But that'll do it. You know, I hope everybody's been doing well. And I'll be bringing you guys more fragrance content, more reviews. I'll also be talking about my project, Mo Lit, uh, in, the, in the weeks and in the days to come. We're about to launch that officially. But, you know, just stay tuned. Look good, feel good, smell good. And we'll catch you on the next one. Much love.